And welcome to your Go Market update for today, Monday the 9th of August. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's check out on what's happening in the news today. It was a mixed session on Friday with the Dow outperforming the other indices after that non-farm payrolls number came out. This week, earnings in US inflation are going to be the major market focus, along with oil price, which it's dropped below $100 a barrel, is seen as a positive. US futures are mildly negative in Asia this morning. But Asian indices trading slightly softer with the ASX down around 0.3%. European futures are also suggesting a slightly lower open. But of course, as the day gets underway, we may see this change before this afternoon. The US dollar index has range bound throughout last week and gold failed to break 1800 dropping down back towards the 1770 level. Trading around there this morning. And oil is weaker again to touch five-month lows below $100 a barrel, as we've already referenced. The VIX is lower again, i.e. in April lows. And copper is looking to push higher now. Along with most base metals, copper is now trading above a key level at $3.50. Bitcoin is still trading within a short-term range. No major movement after the weekend. This morning, it's around about 23000 But moving in a quite a choppy sideways range this morning. It's a quieter earnings day before ramping up later in the week. Little data of note also today. We've got New Zealand inflation expectations out this morning. Big data, as you've already suggested later in the week with that US inflation. The highlight on Wednesday. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are outperforming this morning. In the FX markets, we are keeping an eye on the Canadian dollar yen. We like this move above 104. And you can see there pushing higher again in today's session just come off a little bit over the last sort of hour or so uh, so now we've got a really nice line in the sand uh, to look at this if it breaks that 104.70 uh, then if we just pop it on the four hourly chart there's not much stop in this uh, before it would get up to about 105.20 so around about 45 pips on the ASX, it's materials that are outperforming today. And again, we're going to look at a lithium stock. These stocks are going very well still. We can see that push through that key 146 level on Lion Town Resources, ticker code LTR. Whichever way you slice it, this is a very positive move and looks as though it's got 170 in its sights in the medium term. In the short term, we might get a little pause around about 165, but two to keep an eye on today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.